we've got our Mux board quick split 12. We'll take another one here that we fired and show you what not to do. In series, I've got the jumpers on bank, this first bank and second bank and two more. And if we were to pull out one of these jumpers, then I've now lost that continuity. You hit the forward button and you'll get to the second set of options on the submenu and you go to manual programming and hit five. If I fire this, are these two gonna fire? They're not gonna fire, right? Because this is closing the circuit and it's going to skip it. It's going to take the path of least facing away from me and we'll go ahead and put it into play. Okay, I got a package in the mail. This is something that I actually purchased, but I'm excited to try it out. Muxboard.com. So let's take a look at what we got inside here. Oh, it's wrapped up quite nicely. So in here, this is what we got. Our Mux board, quick split. 12. So this allows us to take up to 12 quick plugs and splice them in series off an existing rail or module that has quick plug uh, adapters. Now here's a quick plug here. And I only have one igniter right now, but essentially we could put multiple quick plug igniters on this board and when we also should have some jumpers here and we have some jumpers that go with it but I'll show in this video how to set this up so that you could add up to 12 igniters in series off cues of your existing system with these jumpers um, you can adjust the circuit on this board so you can set up anywhere from two to 12 igniters in series. Okay, before we get started on the demonstration for the quick split 12, let's just talk about quick plugs in general. Um, I've got a module here connected to a quick plug rail and it allows us to quickly plug in our igniters. And you can see there as we do that, that we've got continuity on that cue. So if we grab some more of these, we'll grab two more. Now they have a uh, little metal shunt on them that has to be pulled off. And I have kind of mixed thoughts about these. Um, quick plugs are kind of new to me. Um, but maybe we'll do another video on, on quick plugs. Right now we're just going to talk about the splice. So now we've got two quick plugs plugged into a quick plug rail and we see good continuity there. Now, in order to set up our quick split 12, one of the first things we need is we need a lead to come off of it, off of these two terminals here. So we're gonna fire these two. I wanna show you something real quick. If you're in test and you go into your sub menu for scripting, you hit the forward button and you'll get to the second set of options on the submenu and you go to manual programming and hit five. And then from here, it's pretty straightforward as if you were going to fire the show, we wanna select the first event. So we have this plugged into rail one. So I'm gonna select rail one and we see here that uh, rail one is highlighted with a P on either side for program. And I'm gonna just select Q1 first. And then it's asking me to set the firing time. And very quickly, um, with these buttons here, one, two, and three, you can advance either the minutes, seconds, or milliseconds, or um, decrease them by using four, five, and six. So we're just gonna go at five seconds. So I'll get this here to five seconds. And once I'm done here, a long hold here of okay. 
you see now here it tells us that we have a program. So we're still in the script edit. So I'm going to hit rail one again, and I'm going to hit Q2. And I'm going to give it a time of 10 seconds. And I actually went to 11, so I'll just go back one second. It's as easy as that. Hit down hold. We'll go ahead and advance out of this. We can see here as we've gone back to test mode, it's telling us that we have two events. That E2 means we have two events programmed. We'll go ahead and long hold, and we'll put this into ARM. And we'll go ahead and go into play. There's our five second cue. There's our 10 second cue. All right. Um, so this is back into test. Um, now that we have these two that have fired, I'm going to go ahead and unplug these. And I'm going to save one of them for later. And this one here, what we're going to do, we're going to unwind it here. And I'm going to take some length here. And I'm going to cut it off. So we have our, our length there. I'm going to go ahead and strip the ends of this. And I'm going to split the insulation just a little bit. It doesn't have to be a large amount. Now we're going to take this and add it to this board here as the lead. And we don't need these uh, stripped ends here very long, so I'm going to trim these back. And we're going to push down on these here. And if you can see inside there, there's actually some little uh, jaws that open up, and that will grab, grab the wires. I have it set there, if you see, so that the unstripped portion of the cable is all the way down past that wall dividing the two contacts. That way, in case the wire gets twisted around or something, I'm not going to be shorting that out, if that makes sense. Uh, let me show you on another one here that I have. So here and there, if you can see those, those jaws, and they open up as you push down on those white levers. So let me take another one here that we fired and show you what not to do. So what you don't want to do is something like this. Right, although that gives us a connection, if this thing gets twisted around, look what, what's happened. We've shorted out our wires there. So that's the reason I'm saying you want to cut those ends short so that you can put the wire with the insulation down into and next to those clamps so that there's no chance that it gets shorted out. Okay, so we have our quick split 12 here and we simply pick a cue and plug that in. Now see when I've done that here, it still shows that I have no continuity on the module. Well, that's because this is in series. So let me grab some more here We'll load up one through six to show you how this works. So there's one. Again, we've got no continuity, no continuity. But we have completely filled up our first bank or our bank here of the quick plugs, one through four. If we put jumpers at these posts here for these other banks, and you'll see what happens. I'll do this here. We have now shorted the circuit 
for these two banks straight across and we have this bank completely full so now we have continuity that dark box there shown on the module showing us that we have continuity across this circuit which is all of these in series and if we were to pull out one of these jumpers then I've now lost that continuity all right so let's go ahead and put in two more and I'm going to put this in five and six okay now here I still have the jumper here on this bank here so although I show good continuity if I was to fire this would these two fire these two here wouldn't fire because the circuit is shorted here so in this case we take these jumpers and we put them in place of these other unused quick plug connections and so now we have a jumper that's shorting out this bank here and we have jumpers in place of the two missing quick plugs here and now we see we have good continuity across all six of these matches and if we were to move this jumper here again we lost continuity put it back we've got good continuity and if we were to remove one of these jumpers we've lost continuity because we've opened up that circuit and that series circuit so we'll close it back up the other thing just to point out if it's not obvious is let's say we lose one of these uh, plugs right we now have an open circuit we have no continuity there well we could plug it back in but say for some reason we didn't want to we could put a jumper in place of that and now that closes the circuit out for this bank here and we have good continuity all right so i'm going to go ahead and put this jumper back or sorry this quick plug back in place all right we've got good continuity there we've got all six of them we could fill this one up as well so we'll go ahead and do that here and we're going to store these unused jumpers and it comes with four of them because that's all you should need if you start with one i'll put my unused jumpers right there in a little holder next to the the terminal for your lead all right and i'm going to go ahead and fill up the second bank and we'll do I'm going to have a couple more we'll do two more show you how to use the jumpers well, we've got 10 of these in series now again if I fire this and I've got a jumper right there on that bank of 9 through 12 if I fire this are these two gonna fire they're not gonna fire right because this is closing the circuit and it's going to skip it it's going to take the path of least of resistance which is going to be right through this jumper so i'm going to take this jumper and i'm going to treat it as a plug and put it in there in position 11 and then i'll take another one off of my storage area and put it in 12 and now i've got good continuity again i got mixed feelings about uh I got mixed feelings about uh, the quick plugs and, and this debris of shunts. I understand that it's necessary, but I'm just curious. Maybe you can make a note in the comments below. What do you do with these shunts? Uh, I, I imagine a lot of them get left out in the field, which is not ideal. All right, we'll go ahead and put the system in ARM. We're armed. I got them all facing away from me, and we'll go ahead and put it into play. Oh! 
And there's our 10 second one. There we go. Looks like all of them went. So, and I didn't even have it charged all the way. So anyways, um, there's a quick demonstration of the quick plugs and the Mux board quick split 12. Oh, and I also showed how you can uh, create a script on the fly um, with the controller of the FireTech system. And if we wanted to, we could go back to that and we could also delete the scripts um, from the module as well. And there we've just deleted the script off the module and then we could also unload it and delete it from the remote. It's all done. Let me know what you think about quick plugs and the Muxborg quick split 12. Um, Leave any comments or questions in the discussion below, and feel free to check out some of the other videos. Thanks. Okay, there were two other things that I wanted to show here. And there's one, this MUX board is shaped here so you can coil up your cables. So, once you've cut your cable like we did earlier and attached it to the board, you can essentially just leave it there. And this gives you a nice convenient place to coil up that cable or length that's not needed and keep it out of the way. So that's kind of convenient and well thought out. The other thing I wanted to show you is that you can also use these boards with non quick plug rails. So if we're to use kind of our standard connections here. We'll plug this into Q12 here on the 18M. I'm just going to go ahead and put it into ARM. We'll go ahead and fire Q12. And we have these two here. In series, I've got the jumpers on bank, this first bank and second bank, and two more there in place of uh, the other two quick plug connectors. And so we'll go ahead and fire Q12. There you go. So it'll also work as a connection to a non quick plug module or rail as well.